Hi everyone and welcome to my video and yes you read correctly the title of this video is just what I'm talking about. Uh, many of you have followed me throughout my two month journey, two month plus journey on my hair growth challenge and although I really I really I love the challenge I do I love the ingredients I love the whole the whole thing I love it I had great results I'm adding something to the mix and this is probably a huge breakthrough in in the hair loss world some of you might be a little squeamish because um, it has a lot to do with needles and although I was a little squeamish when when I first even thought about this I did do it to my face and I see a dramatic difference with my lines and wrinkles when I researched further I found out that this way um, using this needling process can increase your hair growth by so much that let me let me let me explain to you what I am going to be doing today I am going to take a needle a needle roller it's called derma roller and basically, I did a video on this where I did it to my face, and I've been doing it ever since, and I absolutely adore derma rolling. So basically, you get a, a micro needle roller. I don't know if you could see the little pin things on there. There's a lot of little needles on the roller. So what you're going to do is you're going to take alcohol. I actually have 99% alcohol you can get alcohol I believe it's 93 and up which is good and you're going to put it in here enough to cover the derma roller so you're gonna take your derma roller and you're going to put it in the alcohol and you're going to let it sit for 10 minutes so um, I'm gonna let that sit and then we will come back okay guys it's been 10 minutes and now I'm gonna take it out of the alcohol and I'm going to just let the alcohol um, just drip from the derma roller. Let me explain to you what the derma roller does, research I've done. This is called microneedling. So microneedling, which is the derma roller, triggers your body's wound healing response. Research studies have shown that wound healing can stimulate the production of proteins that are responsible for the development of the new hair follicle. It can stimulate blood circulation and increase nutrients to your follicles resulting in hair growth. So that right there just tells me that this is really, really a good method. And I'm not giving up on my recipe because I am using it too. So I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this, okay? So we're gonna wait a few more minutes. I'm gonna wait until the derma derma is dry and then I'm going to take my hair down and we are going to start. Okay guys, so I'm back and now is the time to show you how I do this. So I've gotten a lot of email, um, a lot of people saying, you know, take the hair piece off, it's pulling on your hair, let your hair breathe. I do let my hair breathe. I don't go outside without my, my little snap-in and the reason why I don't do that is because my doctor recommended that I always have something that's covering the top of my head because I had the squamous cell carcinoma. That can come back. My scalp is very, very sensitive. So I have to keep something on and I can't keep a hat on. I, I just won't, I won't wear a scarf. I don't want anything just like really on top of my head. And I promise you that this piece is so light on my head. There is no tension. There's nothing. I mean, it's light as a feather. I don't even feel it on. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to take my clip out. This piece is like my savior. I love my piece. And if you guys wanna know where to get this, I'm going to have my Facebook page down below. You can click on it and you can order it right through me. Um, I might have some, oh, okay, wait. Okay, so. I did notice a huge difference in my my hair growth. You probably can't see now because my uh, my hair is all gray on the bottom, but it did grow a lot, but I just wanted to grow a little faster. So I'm going to show you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to split my hair like that. I'm going to take my derma roller 
and what I'm going to do is make try to, to make sure that no hair gets in the way because you don't want it to tangle in the in the needles so this is a 0 0.25 I'm starting with the smallest needle because I am not I'm not really a professional at this so I start off with the smallest needle so this is what we're gonna do and it doesn't hurt guys I'm telling you it does not hurt you're going to apply a little pressure and you're gonna go the opposite way as well make sure you hold your hair down see it's turning red and that is perfectly perfectly fine because you're wounding the area which is what you want. You want to wound the area so that your body will automatically start to heal itself. Because you know when you cut yourself and then you scab, that's your body's way of healing, you know, with the scab. So that's what we're trying to do here. Now, when you do this, like if you use minoxidil or whatever kind of scalp treatment you have, you can put it on right after you do this so that it seeps through. So it's opening up my pores. Look how red that's getting. I have done research on this and so many people are regaining their hair. Um, is that what you say? Regaining your hair? getting your hair back. This is what we all want, right? We all want our hair back. So for those of you who write to me and say, what are the ingredients of the hair growth? It is two tablespoons of castor oil, one tablespoon of honey and one egg yolk and i've been incorporating cayenne pepper but when i do this i'm not going to incorporate the cayenne pepper because my pores are open i'm only imagining that it would probably burn it so much and i really don't feel like having my scalp burn so we're just going to stick with the original three ingredients for the recipe okay so Basically, that's what you're going to do. I have to definitely dye my hair, but I'm not going to dye it for a while because I'm doing this. Okay. And so that's basically what we do. So right after this, what you would do is you would start mixing up your ingredients. You can let your scalp just relax a few minutes. Put your ingredients together, like I just said, and um, then you can apply to your head, and then you can put a shower cap on and just wait two hours and then rinse it off. So I'm going to put the link down below to the three ingredient recipe. Check out that video. And also over here, I'm going to have the whole playlist of my hair growth journey, my hair growth challenge. So you can see from week one up to date how my hair got better throughout the weeks it's just amazing the hair growth so i hope that this video um helped you i am not sponsored by dermarola i just ordered this from amazon i believe it was like twenty dollars um so like i said hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this works for you from what i hear it is so good for alopecia i say try it it's not it's, it's inexpensive and yeah this is going to be my new challenge I'm going to do this once a week and see how the hair growth goes. I will be posting pictures and that's it. I hope you guys have a nice day, a great weekend. Love you guys. Have a great day.